What's up guys, Devin here from American Aquarium Products. Thank you so much for tuning into this video about fin rot. Of course, there's going to be much more information in the article in the description below. Please know that fin rot is actually just a generic term which actually does not describe an actual disease. It is a symptom of a disease and there are multiple diseases that could be causing the issue with the fin. Know that this is often brought on by an injury or something like ammonia nitrate poisoning. So before treating, consider finding the cause of what could have happened, correcting that first, and then going on with the treatment. Also know too that if you're trying to do something like cycle an aquarium or a hospital tank while treating, there's less likeliness that it'll actually succeed. So make sure everything's in place first before you go after a treatment. Know that there's opportunistic bacteria such as Calmonaris, Pseudomonas, and occasionally Aramonis that will take advantage of the fish resulting in fin rot. So you will see that the fish will exhibit these signs also while having the fin rot so you will also have to treat these things at the same time. Keep in mind that if you start to see the fins turn black during the treatment process this is actually a sign of healing and it's a good thing. So you will want to finish your course of treatment but then stop at that point. Don't think because of the black that you need to continue that you need to continue treatment. If the deterioration goes past the full ray of the fin, so there's a clear part of the fin, but then there's these rays that come out and the deterioration goes and deteriorates that ray, it will most likely not regenerate that part of the tail. Fish like betas, genetic and age play a big role. They are bred heavily which their genetics can be poor from that but then also know that a beta something like a beta will be bred often so in its prime it is bred bred but then it has been sold in the market after it has been used for its breeding purposes so you're actually purchasing an older fish so know that you're getting an older fish and sometimes treatment is not worth it simply because age is playing in a factor of its deterioration here's some things you want to check if you have fin rot or continue to get fin rot make sure that your aquarium or bowl is close to zero ammonia and nitrates at all time if your water starts at zero ammonia but then at the end of the week on a water change day the level is up to one ppm this is no good and unacceptable. You do not want ammonia levels to exceed 0.5 ppms. This is something that we cannot emphasize enough that when we had a fin rot issue, most of the time it traced back to ammonia levels were always in flux. This is where we would recommend a high biological filtration system, something like the AAP Hydra Sponge or porous biological media like Seachem Matrix. The next thing to take a look at which pairs up with the ammonia levels is the rest of the parameters. People tend to chase pH thinking that a certain fish has to be in a certain pH range when really best is to stabilize the pH coming out of the water source with a high alkalinity KH and then having that stable pH will be much more safe for the fish than a fluxing pH. If you are needing some acids because the fish does require that at its biological level, stabilize that pH and then use tannic acids, something like driftwood, peat, pelo moss, or Indian almond leaf. Also often missed is a solid GH reading. This is where we can find electrolyte ions that are beneficial to the fish's osmoregulations. Dosing these electrolytes is best for the fish even if you have harder water find something like the AAP wonder show or sea chem replenish where you can be constantly or regularly adding these electrolytes for best health of the fish long term next is check for injury from something of like the substrate or decor this is very common with long fins where they're hitting this decor and then also bottom dweller fish where they can be getting scraped. Also for larger fish where they're bumping into things. So make sure there aren't things that can actually scrape and cause injury. This is especially common when there's aggression in the tank and there's fish chasing other fish. So they're bumping into things causing the fish being chased or even the aggressor to get scraped. So here's your treatment options for fin rot. 
The first go-to for fish that are up to 6 inches is a medicated fish bath. This is where you use sodium chloride, methylene blue, and for moderate issues, moderate to serious issues, you use a mix of antibiotics of nitrofurazone and canamycin. There's how-to, procedural information, step-by-step, -step, and the resources in the description below. Minor to mild tail or fin rot from injuries caused by collision of things in the tank can be treated by Melifix or Pemafix. Actually, you want to use these in a combination for best success. And then we also recommend a direct treatment of AAP Res-Q where the damage is located. So swabbing this or actually picking the fish up and dripping this right on the damage. When additional medications are called for due to a bacterial or fungal infection using the AAP Betamax is the go-to product, not just for betas, but this is an already mixed in capsule treatment of methylene blue, salt, and key antimicrobials such as sulfas and nitrofurazone. If you think that your fish has a bacterial infection, you will probably want to start an in tank treatment along with the bath swab combination. An effective in tank treatment would be the before mentioned nitrofurazone and canamycin combination, especially if Culminaris and Ariamonis is the cause. The best choice would be the synergistic blend of AAP spectrogram, which has these two combined in, which make for a better dosing regimen, which is more synergistic and more effective. We have some other recommendations for other treatments if you do not have these on hand, so go ahead and take a look at the article in the description below if you'd like some more recommendations. Alright guys, I hope that gave you some more direction on how to identify and understand the cause of fin rot, tail rot. Uh, I know I gave you guys a lot of treatment information, so if that was confusing at all, take a look at the resource which will outline it and the how-tos to make sure. Know that I appreciate you guys here at American Aquarium where our mission here is to first be one of the largest information providers here on the web with video information and tons of article information. I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.